This video, guys, is brought to you by Surfshark. What's up my boys? Welcome to Algav. Yes, we are in Algav. The, the beer has already been switched out with the second glass of white wine. <laughs> we are finally back to traveling and uh, it feels so good to be able to live your life once again. And we have 15 days here in the Algav and we're staying one week in this little beautiful coastal town of Ferragul, which is right across the river of uh, Putimao, which is a much bigger city. There are like almost no tourists here. It's like we, we have it all to ourselves. So it's like we're going to be having two weeks of exploring Algarve anno 1995. <laughs> we are starting out today at this restaurant, Restaurant Suez, and it's a really cute little uh, fish restaurant that is located along the river where we can just sit and enjoy the breeze and the very nice weather that we have today. We are here in Ferragudo. You already know that, but we are at our home where we're staying for the next week because we have followers, the best people on the planet who called us and said, hey guys, why don't you come to Algarve and stay in our little cozy Airbnb? Ferragudo, it's a town where you have narrow streets and you have beautiful flowers coming down from the walls, from the buildings. The architecture is beautiful. And now we're gonna show you our Airbnb. This place is a duplex. So when you enter, you get this super cozy little kitchen, living room, dining room area. It's small, but it seems much bigger than it is because it's very light in here. My favorite thing, and I have to start with my favorite thing, is this make. I mean, can you I tell mean, that I like you, it? You look like a smack, yeah. Smack. <laughs> it looks like something you want to bite into. It looks like a soft, like, French cake or, or tell, some sort. Or cake. And it makes this place look super exclusive. This town is a coastal town. And what better interior to do, like, a coastal interior here. It's super, super cute. It's perfect for a little vacation home. And the theme blue is so suitable for where we are as well. Because look how many blue things there is here. It's all... Blue and white, like the azulietas, azulietas, azulietas. Like these that are obviously here in the Portuguese kitchen, you know? Netflix and chill. Also, I want to have a little shout out because this is our new merch, newest merch. It's our print on a little uh, beach bag. I love it. It's a shopping bag. Shopping bag, yeah. We are going to enter the bedroom. Come on. Up. Here, the coastal vibe definitely continues. This room is my favorite, actually. It's super light and bright, and it's just like clean and white. I really like this place. And the bed, we haven't slept here yet, obviously, but I had like a tiny nap on this bed, and it was delicious. This mirror right here is my absolute favorite thing in the house. I feel like removing it and stealing it and replacing it with something else, because I just really love it. And then this, it looks like it's made out of wood, but when you feel it, it feels like it's made out of stone. 
I don't know how they did this, but I'm in love with this. I don't know which one to film on. The well, one to the left or the right? Depends. This one doesn't exist. You look already. slimmer on the left. Oh, really? Yeah. Continue with the left. My favorite thing is, is the, the hardware here. Yeah. yeah. I really like that as well. These tiles right here are like mixed pattern tile, but I really, really like them for some reason. Usually I don't like not hand painted uh, tiles, but these one are really nice. They're very modern actually. One of the things I really like about this place is that it's masculine and feminine at the same time. Here is the view. We have the view to the new part of this town. Look at this little narrow street we got yeah. going on here. I love this. I mean, this is what made us move to Portugal. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time that we uh, show the, the narrow the streets. Town, yeah, because definitely. There, there are some Instagram, very Instagram friendly things we have to show. And I think you should dress up for it. What kind of food are you uh, craving, Amelia? I want to get back on the health, the healthy lane. I think so. Something simple. You look healthy. That's what like my mommy would say. She would Your say, mommy? "You, my mommy." Your mommy. My mommy. <laughs> she would say, "She would say, you look so healthy with good big arms and a belly. That's how a woman should look." But that's only my mother who thinks that. best restaurants in this town is located on the same street and the one behind me is the best steak restaurant you will find here in Feragu. <laughs> I have a hard time pronouncing Feragudu. this. Feragudu. We're not gonna try it today because we want something small but probably another day. Now we're going to a typical Portuguese restaurant. Most of you guys already know about Surfshark VPN because we have been talking about how fantastic their service are many times and today is no exception. It's so important because you become invisible on the internet. For us, a VPN is particularly useful uh, when we are at restaurants. When you use public Wi-Fi, you are like a tasty little fish that is leaking blood in a shark basin. We use Surfshark both on our laptops and on our cell phones. And it's really nice because you can use unlimited devices on the same subscription. Use our code STAKELASS to get our whopping 83% off. And if you don't like it, you can have your money back within 30 days. So. All the information is in the description below. Yeah, protect yourself. Protect! Wow. Oh my god, I have Tentate. Wow, like, do you have <laughs> This is like me when I met Amelia the first time. What on earth does that mean? <laughs> <gasps> so, uh, we are sitting here at Ovelio Nu, which is allegedly the best classic, typical Portuguese restaurant here in um, Veraguz. I'm having a three-course menu, 
Super Bock. Super Bock. Super Bock. We have ordered a measures from Olga. And then we have also ordered a Madeiran dish, actually, a spatada. Because we want a little bit of steak, a little bit of beef, and then we want the fish. So we're having a Mejuas, and we've had a Mejuas a, a lot of times here in Portugal. But the thing is, that here in Algarve, they are more tasty uh, than the rest of Portugal. The best ones you can get is in Albor, which is uh, not far from here. But they used to pick them up here in Ferragut, uh, but then they they had to dig the, the river deeper. So the, the amount of amateurs has decreased severely, so you, you, you don't find the same amount as you used to do. So, so you, like in the old days, you can just go and like maybe like put down your hands and you grab a bunch, but now it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a scarce um, commodity. Mm. Mm. The waiter just told us that the best one are the ones you drag out of the mud. And um, that's why you can find them in um, Ria Famosa. Is that the name of that area? Rio Famosa. Rio Famosa. That area that we were when we visited Oliao and Algao, that area, they are very, very good and they have a darker shell because they are in the mud. So here we have what we were introduced the first um, at Madeira, the Espatada, which is basically wheel kebab. Mm. You have to eat all of it. What about me? Try, try. Look at this. Look at this, and look at your plate. I want to try as well. Are you sure? Yeah. I think a setup like this is what really makes Algarve what Algarve is. It is nine o'clock. We are in mid-May. We're sitting here having wine, beautiful wine, beer, amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. This is what I love. This is this is what I love about Algarve. The dessert is served and it's accompanied with a lemon juice with almond liquor and a port wine. And I'm gonna taste that, but first. I'm dying to try this chocolate cake. So apparently this is an Algarve addition to a chocolate cake and there is carrot in it. I like carrot cake. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to taste the chocolate cake with this port wine. Give it to me, give it to me. It's like Steve Jobs and Wozniacki. Wozniak, but without being in a garage. What is it exactly, Amelia? Orange carrot thing, Car orange caramel thing. When, when, when I'm reaching for the second dip, immediately, you know it's good. And this is accompanied with an, um, a juice. Lemon juice. Lemon, lemon juice with almond liquor. liquor. It's such a punch and you like it? El Gao <laughs> is beauty. <laughs> you got a little surprise for us here. Yes, I do. What Madronio. is this? Madronio. Madronio. <laughs> You know, we get this all the time. In no, we don't. But Medranio is the one that fragmentates in your... Fermentates. <laughs> I've had a lot of this, okay? It's the one that fermentates in your belly. So they say you can be drunk for days, right? And you are drunk anyway every day. So for you, it's not going to make any difference. <laughs> but is it true? Like, if you get one shot, then you're like drunk no, for the rest of... No, not one shot. But if you have 10 shots, you get really, really... Drunk. Like 30 <laughs> minutes after, you feel. Ten, if you have 10 shots, I think most shots will get you drunk if you have 10. <laughs> yes, but this one will get you crazy. <laughs> Amelie, we had this uh, when we were privileged enough to uh, go on the act trip. And I loved it. 
It's like cognac, but it has a more light afterburst. They actually say that back in the days, all women they would binge eat on the madronio fruit in order to get really, really drunk so that they could stand their husband. And I can relate. It's really nice to be back here in Algarve actually, especially these small towns that are not too touristy. Ferragudo is definitely a little gem that hasn't been discovered too much by tourism. No. Which makes it so nice. But we have to, to up the ante, that's why that we have to give a shout out to Ricardo who has this uh, Airbnb. So if you want to rent this Airbnb, you can find the link in the description. Obrigado por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Até logo. I am so drunk. Yeah. I'm so drunk. Yeah. But you know what? Like yeah. having. Having, 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 no, I mean, I mean, no, no, stop. Did you ever see, did you ever see that the best of Algarve, yeah? The best thing about Algarve is that you can sit outside in the middle of May, 25 degrees, it's 23 o'clock, it's warm. I love that. Your problems. Don't worry about your past. Don't.